Welcome to Slater, Iowa, where today we'll be looking at the performance of the newest soybean herbicide under development from Syngenta, Tavium Plus Vapor Grip Technology. I'm Scott Payne, Crop Protection Field Development Scientist with Syngenta, and I will be walking you through four plots showing weed control in 360 degrees. Here we are in the center of the plots. If you look around, there are four different comparisons. Right now, I'm standing in the untreated plot. The other three plots were treated with different herbicides that I'll discuss later in the video. If you look at the untreated plot, the ground is mostly covered by water hemp, now 24 to 36 inches tall. Water hemp was one of the most troublesome weeds in Iowa in the Midwest, and it is very aggressive, growing up to one inch per day. For effective weed control, we need to target weeds four inches tall or smaller. For weeds this size, they would not be effectively controlled by herbicide application, and this could lead to herbicide resistance. This plot was treated with 22 ounces per acre of Extendamax with Vapor Grip technology. The solo active ingredient in Extendamax is dicamba. As you can see, there are fewer weeds here compared to the untreated plot. Dicamba provides effective control against emerged water hemp, but on its own does not provide extended residual control. Here we are in a plot treated with 56 and ounces per acre of Tavium plus Vapor Grip technology from Syngenta. Tavium is a premix of s the active ingredient in dual magnum herbicide, plus dicamba. As you can see, we have more effective control in the Tavium treated plot as compared to the Extendamax plot due to the addition of s Esmetolachlor s adds extended residual control, providing longer lasting effectiveness. Finally, we have Tavium integrated into a full season herbicide program. This is 1.8 pints per acre of boundary, 6.5 EC, followed by 56 and a half ounces per acre of tabium. As you can see, weed control in this plot is better than either of those with a single herbicide application. In fact, we've had no weed escapes to this point. Testing has shown that tabium will be most effective as part of an integrated system. This will help to provide the most effective management, help to reduce the soil seed bank, and also increase herbicide diversity to help fight resistance. If you're planting a dicamba tolerant crop, but spraying dicamba and glyphosate will not be enough. Be sure to use a herbicide with residual activity to keep your fields clean as long as possible.